today? Uh, everybody was very excited. You know, it's a big game for us. I think it's a big game for our season. You know, the last one of that, you know, first five everybody's talking about. So, first one back at home, actually, too. So, you know, everybody's excited to be in front of our home crowd. And, you know, the crowd showed up really good tonight. They really got us energized to play defense the whole entire game. We played a full 40 minutes of good defense. How about that quick start and building the early lead? And you guys never really let them get back into it. Yeah, that definitely helped us a lot. You know, guys were ready from the, from the get-go. You know, we're making shots early on. And... We are getting stops early on, too, so, you know, that 19-point lead did, you know, give us a little bit of cushion at halftime, and it was definitely beneficial in the second half. Could you sense in the locker room before the game that the guys were really focused and were going to go out and play a good game? Yeah, everybody was focused before the game, you know. Uh, we had a meeting after the last game. All the, the players got together, and we just talked some things out, and uh, one of the things we talked about was being focused and, you know, being the collective as a group and being together, so before the game, everybody was really focused on, you know, uh, getting the win today. We did. Who was the best first half you guys have played this year offensively? Um... Probably so, yeah, maybe. How, how important was it to execute the plan that you had? Did you execute the way you wanted to? I mean, it was very important. You know, Syracuse is a good team. You know, they were 4-0 coming into today's, so and we know we had to execute in order to beat them. And guys were focused, like I said earlier, and, uh, you know, it carried over to the court. How much of a factor is getting confidence going, especially offensively early on in the game like you guys did today? I mean, it's definitely huge for us, you know, to have guys, you know, make the shots. You know, it takes the pressure off a of ride, you know, just dribbling up there. He can hit different guys and be able to trust them that they'll make shots. So, you know, it's definitely good for our offense. Were you more effective against the zone than you thought you would be? Uh, personally, yeah, I, I am. Yeah. <laughs> What did you guys do in particular on uh, the shooting guard and on the small forward? Well, we put, we put Rod on, on Cooney. You know, he's an unbelievable three-point shooter. And, you know, Rod is probably our best defender, so we figured that would be a pretty good matchup for Rod. You know, he did his job today. Benjamin's also been, been really good for them, the small forward. Like, what did you guys try to do on uh, him? Anything to Just contain him. You know, he's a good shooter. Yeah, Rod Hall, so put it on five minutes of players. So we just had to contain him and make sure we, you know, play good defense. Just focus on taking away the drive more yeah. than... Well, our main focus is uh, containing Cooney early on. Containing Cooney. That was the main focus. Go ahead. Why do you think this was better on offense? This is confidence. Everybody happy to be back home, you know, in Clemson. And uh, it just carried over. The focus, like I said earlier, just carried over. Guys were ready to make shots, ready to make plays in the game. Now, number four is very, or they're kind of played the four. Roberson is Robertson. kind of an inexperienced kid. Um, and their point guards have been a little hit or miss. Were those guys you felt you could help off to, 